Well, for more than a decade, a man wanted on child rape charges in Albuquerque he had been on the other side of the world. Authorities caught up with Neil Stammer all the way in Nepal. This morning, he is back in the Duke City behind bars. For the last 14 years, Stammer had been living and working there. APD had arrested him for raping a boy and molesting another back in the 90s. At that time, he was a world-famous juggler who taught classes at a magic shop in Knob Hill. The two alleged victims were in his class. After his arrest, Stammer bonded out and disappeared. Police say the FBI says that Stammer has been teaching English to children in Nepal. Authorities there arrested Stammer for having a fake passport. An old FBI uh, wanted poster prompted authorities in Nepal to notify the FBI and APD. This is what Stammer had to say when asked why he didn't turn himself in. Again, I, I, I shouldn't answer these questions until, uh, until the time is right, but I will, I will talk to you when the time is right, okay? Did you know authorities were looking for you? The, uh, no, I did not. Okay, and, uh, okay so Stammer yeah. says that he thought the charges from the 1990s were dropped and didn't know. As you heard, the FBI was looking for him. Hundreds of undocumented immigrants from Central America being held at a facility in Artesia are waiting to be deported. And now the PBS show NewsHour is highlighting how people in Artesia are divided on this issue. In it, Artesia's mayor, Phil Birch, says he does not think the federal facility should be used to house the immigrants. By and large, the community would prefer um, this installation not be here. Uh, because we view the Federal Law Enforcement Training Center as a place to train law enforcement people. And we, we just don't feel that it's appropriate to have it changed to a, a detention center. Mayor Birch says he thinks the immigrants are probably sleeping in the most comfortable rooms they have ever slept in. He wants others who think about crossing the border illegally to get the message that they will be sent back to their home countries. Well, Governor Susana Martinez is still blaming the president and Congress for the immigrant crisis. And on Saturday, she got a chance to see the federal facility in Artesia that is causing all the controversy here. Governor Martinez says she wants updates on what's going on there from the federal government. At least 200 immigrants are being held in Artesia waiting to get deported. Well, at 534 now, there's a chance a softball coach accused of molesting a player in Carlsbad, a teenage player may not be able to go to his daughter's games after all. The district attorney's office has filed a motion to review conditions of release for John Aragon. As we told you last week, a judge granted Aragon permission to go to Missouri to watch his former team play because his daughter is on the team. Court documents show the judge did not tell the state about that ahead of time. The DA's office wants Aragon to stay in Carlsbad and not be in a position of authority for anyone younger than 18. All right, Joy Junction is running out of food. The 28-year-old Albuquerque shelter provides about 16,000 meals a month to needy families. The demand is putting a strain on the shelter's food supply, and they're running out. They're hoping people can help by donating. We have the details on our website. Just go to carekiwi.com. A special Albuquerque boy whose birthday is today gets his wish of a lifetime granted. When Albuquerque police needed to help catch a bandit who's been apparently robbing banks throughout the city, he was called in to help. Yeah, it was an elaborate scenario here with the SWAT team, a helicopter, and more, all created by APD in Make-A-Wish, New Mexico. News 13's Kayla Ayers was there. The Albuquerque Sunday morning bandit was at it again, terrorizing bank employees, stealing their money, and running. But he won't strike again after Officer 7-Eleven was called in. Andrew Martinez was on the case from the start, getting the call popping into Air One. The 10-year-old who has muscular dystrophy was sworn in Friday after Albuquerque police learned he was the right guy for the job. While this is all part of Make-A-Wish New Mexico, APD says Andrew's wish of protecting people and catching the bad guys pushed him through the ranks and he was promoted to SWAT. Sunday morning, dressed in SWAT gear, Andrew spotted the crook and the stolen loot. With a crowd cheering him on, he moved in to make the bust. Since the last time you robbed stuff. The bandit was surrounded. One well, more bandit in Albuquerque, yeah, Andrew. And just like that, Albuquerque was safe again. Andrew ordered the bandit back behind bars. While the job was tough. Did he put up a fight? Uh -huh. yeah. 
Albuquerque awarded its new hero. Chief for a day. A day that Andrew's mom says he won't soon forget. He's wanted to do this his whole life since he was four, so and they made it all possible, and we're just really grateful and blessed. Kayla Ayers, KRQE News 13. Andrew's mom says he was so excited after his adventure he couldn't sleep for three days. Make-A-Wish New Mexico says they grant 130 wishes this year in the state.